Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on debugging OpenSys source code using TCL input file. In this tutorial, you will learn in detail about uh, every step involved in this debugging process. Let's get started. This debugging process um, involves these following steps. First, we have to set up the development environment. Here, the development environment is uh, Visual Studio and uh, we have to download the OpenSea source code from the GitHub website and then we have to compile it successfully. After that, you have to choose one TCL input file, means the one that you are planning to use in this debugging process. After that, you have to link the input file to the Visual Studio debugger. After that, we will set some breakpoints in the OpenSea's uh, C++ source code. And the last one is some uh, release mode configuration for uh, debugging. The first step, setting up the development environment and the second step, compiling the source code. I already explained in uh, one of our previous video. YouTube type ElastroPy. This is our channel. In this tutorial, I clearly explained uh, all the steps involved in this development environment setup and uh, compilation process. So you will learn every detail about uh, all the prerequisite installations, etc. So to complete the first two steps, do watch uh, the video that I just showed you. Next is the TCL input file. So I'm taking uh, some basic truss example because in this particular tutorial, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to debug uh, the truss source files, truss.cpp, truss.h, etc. I just downloaded this file and uh, kept it here. This is the file. So this is a simple truss configuration wherein we have three members and uh, four joints. After successful compilation, you will see uh, all of our projects are uh, successfully compiled and uh, once it is successfully compiled, you will see a .exe file in this win64 slash bin uh, directory. So this is our uh, main .exe file So that we just compiled. To debug this one, open this uh, project properties of this OpenSys project. And uh, first you need to uh, be aware about these three commands actually. The first one is OpenSys command. Here, you, this is the target path. Here you have to make sure uh, the .exe file is there in this directory or not. So it is there win64 bin opensys.exe. As you know, after successful compilation, you will get this uh, opensys.exe automatically in this target location. This is by default. You, you no need to change this. And the second one is the command arguments. Here you have to specify our uh, input file location trust.tcl and the last one is this um, working directory here currently if you look at this uh, project directory it is set to win64 project opensys directory but our input file is not there in this location hence i have to modify this one so I am modifying this to another location where our input file is present. So our input file is present here. So I am just up. So you can use any other directory where your input file is present. So press OK. That's it. And after that, you have to find corresponding C++ file that is relevant to this uh, trust command. For example, here the keyword trust is used. What I am going to do is I am going to take I just took that, copied that uh, trust keyword and I am searching it here. You have to find the input file that we are, uh, that we want to debug. For now, trust.cpp, trust.h, these are the two files. And along with that, if you look at, uh, there are some other trust files like trust2, trust2.h, trust trustsection.cpp, trustsection.h. If you look at the other, we have many more uh, trust keywords, but we have to find the relevant the appropriate source file. For that, you have to find out uh, another command, another uh, file called commands. This one, tcl element commands.cpp. So here, search for the keyword trust. see here it is a string comparison so if this uh, argument is equals to this trust with small t or a capital tree so it is redirecting to this function ops trust element so we have to make sure whether uh, we are 
calling this particular thing or not. So if you look at this uh, trust.cpp, so here OPS underscore trust element, this is it. It means we are in this right file trust.cpp trust.h this is the corresponding uh, header file for this so currently i am going to put a breakpoint in the constructor here trust just uh, for example i am going to put a breakpoint at this c mass so our agenda is to stop the execution at this breakpoint so i just put a breakpoint here and then I ran this uh, local windows debugger. If you see, it didn't stop. It ran the source code and it gave us the result. But our objective is to stop the source code at that breakpoint. So for now, I'm just uh, closing this. Why it didn't stop here is because we compiled the source code in this release mode. Here, if you look at here, there are a few more options, debug, debug.dll, release, release.dll, and configuration manager. Generally, if you debug, um, if you choose the debug configuration, it automatically stops at the breakpoint. But currently, in the debugging mode, uh, OpenSys source code is throwing a lot of errors, actually. Those errors are not easily resolvable. But in the release mode, it did throw some less errors. So that's why we compiled the source code in the release mode. So in the release mode, we cannot directly debug the source code. If you want to debug the source code in the release mode, you have to change uh, certain options in the project properties. So you have to make sure these settings are uh, applied and then uh, I'm opening this project properties. So here, if you look at here, C, C++ node, this one, the debug information format here, debug information format to C7 compatible, R program database ZI. So this one is good. We no need to change it. And the second one is expand this linker. Within the linker, in the general node, you have to set this enable incremental linking to no. Enable incremental linking to no. This is already set to no. In the same section, open this debugging. In this debugging, you have to set the generate debug info to yes. Set the generate debug info to yes or slash debug. And last, In the optimization node, select set references to opt ref and enable code mat folding to opt ICF. Yes. Let's debug the file again. See, it stopped here. So now you can run or step into another input file uh, step by step actually. So this one, this one, this one, like this. You can step here. You will see all those commands here. For example, let's see if we can print a small print statement in this console window. So for that, uh, I have added a small print statement using this uh, C out. So this is a small print statement I have added. Hi, I am in CPP. To use this um, C out in current uh, trust.cpp, I have added uh, an include file of uh, IO stream and uh, std namespace to this trust.cpp. After adding this print statement, I just uh, clicked this local windows debugger. So after that, it stopped at this breakpoint of CMOS, the one where we put uh, initially. Let's run one more. So if you look at here, so you've got this one. Hi, I am trust.cpp. Yeah, I just closed that window. And if you look at here, 
so you can verify all the variables using this quick watch so if you look at this quick watch uh, mat tag is zero here and uh, if you look at cmas cmas is set to zero quick watch like that like this wherever you want you can currently we just stopped the source code in this uh, constructor but you can do the same thing at commit state or you can do the same thing at a revert to last commit or revert to start or update so but you have to make sure whether uh, these functions will be triggered or not in our next tutorial uh, we will see how to debug uh, this open source code using dot python input file in the same way as we debugged right now using dot tcl input file in the next tutorial we will do the same thing using uh, dot py input file if you face any errors uh, while debugging so please do report them in the comment section i'll try to address them as soon as possible if you like our content please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel happy learning thank you